Hi everyone! Today I would like to show you what I do every day for the cats that are now in my care and I say the cats that are now in my care because things are always different it always depends on how many cats I have in the foster care how many cats are in the quarantine or what needs do they have what treatments they have to receive and it's also different with the residents cats because they also have different needs they have to go through different treatments is never the same so I start the day with feeding the resident cats as they know when I am awake of course if you have cats you must know what I mean they become eager to receive their wet food faster so the first thing that I do is to feed them all with wet food because she is not eating any kind of wet food. Pixie. Pixie. She's not in the mood to eat wet food now. She's doing this sometimes. So after feeding them fast, I clean the boxes and after this it's time to feed the cats that are in quarantine cages, to clean their boxes also, to give them the necessary treatments, so let's go to them now. Okay, after calming down and feeding the resident cats, I come to the orange mama cat and her four kittens who are still in quarantine. They are in process of deworming and vaccinating and after this it will be safe for them to meet the other cats that I have now in my foster care. So I'm going now to feed them, to clean the boxes, to cuddle them a little of course. So the orange mama cat and her babies are now fed, their cages are clean and it's his turn. He's the bottle baby who is now big. He is actually 8 weeks old today and he's going to receive his first vaccine. So in a short time he will be out of quarantine. I'm going now to feed him also and to clean his box. No treatment is required because he is a healthy boy. So the next cat that I have in quarantine is the cat who had the breast tumor and who went through surgery. Her quarantine is almost over, in a few days she will be free in the foster room, just that we still have some problems with her, she is making high fever every day and we still don't know what is the cause, so now I'm going to feed her, to clean her box and of course to give her her treatment, the pills, she is having two pills in the morning and one pill in the evening for the moment. Yeah. 
and here is the kitten who had herpes virus and who has problems with one eye she is under treatment we hope that we can save her eye even if it is quite damaged but I don't want to lose hope, I, I want to try everything that I can to save it. She is receiving now a treatment with plasma eye drops but also other local treatments. She is also having some pills twice a day. After I finish with the quarantine cages, I'm having a 10 minutes coffee break. But it's not a total break because in this time the kids are waiting for their treats and of course they receive their morning treats. I have my coffee and they have their treats. I don't eat breakfast, very very rarely I eat something very little if I feel the need to but in general I, I'm not having breakfast So I had my coffee, the cats had their treats now it's time to go to the cats from the foster room So in the foster room I have now three cats. She is the cat who carried her newborn kitten into a pharmacy. Her kitten is already three months old and look how beautiful she is, right? And I also have this beautiful girl who is also three months old. She's very friendly and she is so cute. And yeah, they are watching birds here because we are also feeding pigeons and imagine for them is a true show to see every day. As you know, I have in my care many cats and most of them have health problems and this means treatments, pills that needs to be given for some of them every day and for others for certain periods of time. For example, one of them is Kimon, the kitten who has problem with his kidneys and he has to receive two pills every day for the rest of his life. But this way his health condition is kept under control and we hope to have him with us for as long as possible. So I'm going now to give him his pills. I'm giving him pills since he is little and he is very much used to this and I'm going to show you how he comes by himself to take his pills. And one more. is a good boy another cat who has kidney problems but not like Kimon I mean he has serious kidney problems he is Jose one of the seniors and he also has to receive two pills every day and we try this way to keep him 
with us for as long as possible. He doesn't like when he's taking his pills. I'm kind of upsetting him and I don't like this, but he's better with them. The next resident cats that I have under treatment are Tinky and Damien, two senior cats who have severe stomatitis. But a few days ago I started a new treatment for them that is now on the market and I already see improvements and I'm really happy about this. I'm going now to give them also the pills. Molly is another cat of the residents who has to receive everyday pills. She is a senior cat who remained in my care because of her health problems. She has hyperthyroidism, she has pancreatic problems and she has to receive pills twice a day. She is not the easiest cat at giving pills but I can handle it. Please, my sweet girl, please, please. I succeeded this time. Easy. But she's upset. So I have to make all these treatments every day depending on their needs. But I also have to keep my eyes on the other cats who have major health problems. Like one of my seniors, Tigris, who is making often strokes and I have to be super fast with the injections that she need to help her recover. I have Fluffy who is very old, he's 19 years old and he's not always in his best shape and so on. So the cats are fed, the treatments are done, the boxes are clean. So all these morning cat things took me a little over two hours. But don't imagine that now I will have a huge break. I will have now a few hours to do my things but in the evening but not too late I will start everything all over again. So about two more hours in the evening but not too late, then I will have a break again and before I go to sleep, which is quite late, I go again to all the quarantine cages to see if everything is clean. I enter again in the foster room, I check again all the boxes in the house and late in the night I can say I'm done for the day. Thank you.